Hello and what is up there guys and welcome to the second World Painter tutorial and today we are going to start for real with the basics so that means just the general land mass, the outlay and the planning of the rest of the map. We're gonna start by creating a new world and that's just file new world and then we can name the worlds. I named this world World Painter Tutorials, which will be up for download as soon as we have finished it. Then for the dimensions, we're gonna do a thousand by a thousand, and the program will automatically correct that to multiples of 128. So don't worry about that. That's all good. Then over here, you can see hilly. You can see hill height. I leave that the way it is because uh, that generates those hills that you always find in Minecraft but then um, better looking and I'm going to change uh, this uh, level to 35 and why that you can see that in the preview it will basically it will just make this all into ocean and that's what we want when we start out with painting the yeah the world and then for biomes I click them both it will automatically do some of the biomes so when I use snow it will turn into a snowy biome when I place jungle trees it will be a jungle biome and then custom biome so I can also fix the biomes if I want to change them myself and then for the minecraft seed I always choose ocean that means that around your map uh, Minecraft will generate an ocean biome and then the natural world around it so that even though you have this cool place to go if you would go outside the boundaries there would still be a Minecraft world and I think that's m way more realistic than just have it end at the boundaries and uh, then we click create it will generate the new world and we will have something like uh, this this is a thousand by a thousand blocks wide the spawn point is that little red dot in the middle but anyway so we're gonna plan or uh, general build so we're gonna press this raise ground um, and then we're just gonna choose a nice brush for this doesn't really matter which brush because the only thing that you're gonna be doing is raising the land until you will see something green like that then we're gonna change to flatten and then you can make the brush as big as you want because basically what this is gonna do is gonna flatten out an area which will be the start of our map so we're just gonna spread this out a little bit and as you do this you're basically planning your map or your island or whatever and a good thing about this to keep in mind is that you never want your map to touch the edges because at the edges Minecraft will generate a new world so if you have a landmass up until the edge it will just cut it off and then generate a natural landscape so it won't look good so always try to make islands in that case if you want to have like a big continent then just choose a very large map scale in order to accomplish a continent without having it to touch the borders so what we have here is like a little main island oops that's wrong so this is like the main island that we'll be painting on in the coming tutorials what will we do we will also be making a smaller island just over there uh, and on that island will probably be oops doing something more special but that will be for another episode so this is our general layout that we have at the moment so we have this big island and this smaller island and yeah that's it for outlay the outlay um, we have our general shape we know one island there and another one down here then what what do we want to do next that is very simple we want to start planning a bit where do we want mountains where do we want rivers a lake maybe so I'm just gonna have like planning I think I want like a, a mountain range over here maybe with it continuing like over here and 
like this maybe and then we'll have a nice valley over here and I want this area to be like raised so that we would have like a raised area there and then I would like to have like a little river going through there so that we create like a cliff you know um, so that would be kind of like a cliff and then there would be a lake at the at the start of this valley maybe with some rivers running off you can figure that out later but this is the thing that I mean when I say planning so just kind of get the idea for your map in your head and I'm just doing this so I can show you what I'm thinking of on this island I'm thinking it can be a little bit hilly because I want to make this like a little tropical island with uh, a volcano over there so that's where we're gonna paint a volcano in one of the episodes and uh, that is basically everything I want to do in this episode so this is how you start a world this is how you plan a world if you are gonna world paint yourself I suggest just do a lot of it just practice a lot look at real pictures of real life uh, landscapes and try to recreate that in world painter Anyway guys, I really hope you enjoyed this first, or actually second, World Painter tutorial. If you did, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will see you soon with the next tutorial, which will be covering mountains.